I'm Aki Martinson, and I made this lid hanger for my rubbish kitchen. So many people have a pot and pan cabinet like this one. It's nothing but a pile. Let's push back the chaos and make some door mounted hangers for the pot lids. I should mention that I didn't invent this idea. I've seen something like this on the internet before. My plan is to make four hanger bars, two for each of the cabinet doors. I don't really love red oak, but that's what the kitchen is made of, so that's what I bought. I'm drilling some holes for the lid handles to slot into, so they don't roll side to side. pretty large Forstner bit like this 2 inch one here can be a problem. If you run it too fast, it'll stall out the drill press and it'll burn the wood. But those are the limitations of the glorious Harbor Freight drill press you have here, which I only own because it cost me zero dollars. But let's look this particular gift horse in the mouth, shall we? Yep, that's as slow as it will go. My pot lids have two kinds of handles, knobs and loops. I don't want the hangers to be specific to a particular lid, so I can put the lids anywhere without thinking about it, and also so I can get other pans in the future. So I'm drilling the holes for the knob to accommodate the largest one, and the loop holes are spaced according to the best loop style pan lid I have. The other one will still work, but it might not rest in the holes in quite as satisfying a way. In a small one-car garage workshop like this one, moving machines around is just what you have to do. I really wanted the hanger bars to have fully filleted ends, concentric with the round dowel standoffs I'm about to make. So I made a quick and dirty jig to help me get a good result from my disc sander. This is just a test piece, but it revealed an embarrassing error. That's better. It's a promising start, although you do have to drill the hole exactly in the center of the workpiece. I think I'll make a better version of this tool eventually. Sanding out those scorch marks was no joke.
Off camera, I cut four lengths of this one inch oak dowel. After the tedium of sanding, it's time for the horror of applying finish. I don't like polyurethane very much, but it's a kitchen, so I think this is an appropriate choice all the same. I love this next bit. I'm about to realize that I made a stupid error, and you can see the moment of the realization in my hands. I'm using my hurricane shutters as a support here. Welcome to Florida. I'm relieved that's over. Time to install. There's a design challenge here. These are frame and panel cabinet doors, and you really want to screw into the frame, not the panel, which is very thin. But that means you have to fit the dowel, plus a little for the extra diameter of the crossbar, into the width of the frame, minus the amount of overlap the frame has over the opening behind it. Also, you have to use some trigonometry, because the lid hanger also sticks out from the frame, so it's really the hypotenuse you have to worry about. Like this. Yeah, that could not be any closer. And that's a little bit of chaos pushed back. Hope you liked it.